Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, mothers, fathers, daughters, sons, brothers and sisters. This is episode 19 of the Wacky Random Challenge. So we had great fun with the M1 Pro Car and the M3 E30. So let us move back into the GT3 category with the M3 GT. Where shall we take this mighty GT3 behemoth? It will be in... That one. <laughs> Mojave Goyeti News. I think that's the Ovalish one. Uh, we had the 2002 Stance Works there, if I remember. Okay, and in what conditions will we be doing the Coyote Noose? It was in the dark last time, and it was dry, I believe, with the 2002. Come on, there we go. It will be stormy nights. We're not doing this one in the dark. Oh my. Okay, Mojave Coyote News is indeed the overly one. Uh, we can have that many. Storm in the dark. Oh my. Oh well. Let's dive right on in. <laughs> I did get lapped last time, so we'll see if we can see if we can avoid it this time. I doubt it, but here we go. Let's see how we get on with the M3. It's the one car that is banned from the current GT3 season. Driving over restrictions, and this fact that this car seems to have a bit of an advantage. For some reason, it was judged, so I couldn't tell you how that advantage was uh, gauged. I am not a GT3 driver. Oh my goodness me, that was awful. Oh dear, M3's having trouble. This thing will rip better than I still sort of theory the corners like I was in the 2002, but of course I've got downfall this time. I also had rain that didn't last time, so oh crikey, just a mere touch of the brakes and this thing wants to lock up. Oh hello! Now it's sliding through inside of me and then three on the outside of me. Oh, that had to hurt. Over cautious in the corners. We've got Corvette. I can't see what that is in the middle. Cadillac, I think, and there's a on the inside. It is indeed a caddy. To my right. Oh, oh crikey. Oh, no, 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 no. I did exactly what that entry did last time around. Well, not. I didn't hit the ball quite so hard. And there he is. Squeeze in between the two beamers. Whoa. I think also I'm breaking just as I go over that crest, which probably isn't helping me any. Oh, come on. Off the grass. How is it everyone is able to take that quicker than me? Oh, shove that Aston wide. Yeah, I seem to be able to do this one faster. Oh well, don't ask me, I don't know. I'm not making any real inroads into the field. This seems to be my position, 30th. Oh, no, no, that's too much. Oh, just managed to hang on to that. I'm taking. That's better. Kind of. <laughs> I've found that the 
uh, V8 GTE has got those yellow headlights. This is rather cool. Sounds great. The M3 sounds nice. <coughs> Most of the uh, GT3s have quite a nice sounding roar to them. A bit too brave there, I think. Excuse me, Mr. Roof. I'll have that position back just before the Aston gets there. Too much, too much, too much. Yeah. Oh. It's going so well. He's going to hit me. He did. Oh, I was doing so well. In a drifty type car, I imagine you could do one. Well, you can. I've done it before. As I said before, I have done back monos in this kind of condition here. Not it was in the dry, as opposed to thundering wet. But as opposed to, um, as opposed to, uh, it wasn't in the dry at all. What am I on about? It was in the day, and not in the in the dry. It was in the wet, but uh, it was foggy, so uh, visibility was a bit of a premium. Still good fun. The uh, front of the field not coming up to map me. Me and this track just don't seem to get on. Drifting a GT3 car. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to prevent being lapped, unfortunately. Just do not seem to get the line right to. Be able to catch up with those ahead of me. There they are. Look. Get the blue flag warning soon. Come on. Turn in. Go. Whoa. It's something like that. Turn in, turn in, turn in, turn in. No, gotcha. Edging ever closer. <laughs> <coughs> oh, no, that's off. Yeah. You just know. As soon as you commit, you know. And there's the blue flag warning. That was wrong as well. Well, at least I have company back here. Just cannot get the power down as early as I would like to. That is good fun to die. Oh no, off again. Oh, not quite. Yeah, just don't seem to have the same grip levels as everybody else, but then I'm sure a different setup would solve that. I'm sliding more than I am uh, anything else. Roof right up the gearbox. Right up the exhaust pipe. Oops. Let me pack that. Tires have stayed remarkably warm. Even the uh, left ones is quite a surprise. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Held on to that just about. Now that I start finding the line I've needed all along. 
Yeah, that uh, sounds like my luck. Ah, to be fair, I've had a pretty good run with the BMWs as a whole. Actually, I did pretty well with the Audis, by and large. Oh dear, that went well, that went badly. It's the, uh, it was the British brands that didn't do me much. Uh, the Astons I was uh, pretty poor with, and switching over to the Germans, I've uh, done pretty well. I may not have done well position-wise, but sort of performance-wise, in my eyes, I've done that not too, not too bad. There's been a few moments, there's been a few that uh, I, I confess I've had to redo because I've just given up on them. And I confess that uh, it has happened. Uh, of course, the uh, evidence of that hasn't gone up because I didn't keep it. But generally, I've had to redo them because either I've been interrupted or um, I've left the uh, I left OBS on the wrong scene. That's actually 35th I'm catching up with. It's a shame I wandered off there, that was going to be my best lap I reckon. Last lap then. This roof has finally gotten past me. As I've gone off the track. Oh no, 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 no. Oops, no, that's off. <laughs> oh dear. Checker flag is out. Ow! Ow! Moin, 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 moin. Well, because of those offs, I've been lapped by most of the field now. Because that, that looks like the BMW that I saw crash very heavily early on. And looking where the red dot is in relation to where I am, I'd say that's about right. Oh, man. That, was, that was still good fun, though. By the way, I was nearly lapped by everybody. That was still good fun. 36-3. Yeah, that was not the <laughs> Never mind. Moving on. It is now the GT4 version of that car. The M3 GT4. Where will we... Church. Let me to uh, roll the weather. Because you could hear that. You couldn't see it because I hadn't changed the scene yet. Right. Where will we be? In. Uh, Snetterton again. I don't mind Snetterton, it's just happened quite a few times. But in the GT4 version, that's not going to be too bad. If it's dry. Well, they're all pretty good if they're dry. And clear. Clear in the day. Lovely. Lovely. I quite enjoy this. Snetterton 100. 25 opponents, no practice. Clear day. Let's get this show on the road. Tiny, tiny, tiny little track. <coughs> Not even a mile look. Oh, yes. I like that. Love the sound of this entry. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa, there's a, a uh, distance board. Ooh. No, 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 Attribution delivered pretty swiftly by the Aston there. Oh, nudge. Gold coloured in three. Where's the. Oh, there it is. I was just thinking, where is the finish line? 
I wasn't so much seeking for the lap to end, I just wasn't sure where it was. Ooh. Big old lockup then. I'm not sure about that gold coloured entry, if I'm honest. Grab him here. Oh, tight. I was aiming for an apex I couldn't see from the inside of this M3. Matt Bellinger is uh, determined to stay ahead of me. Whoa! I don't know how I locked up there. I didn't have the brakes on that hard. I didn't see it was that bumpy either. Yeah, swine. Try to turn in on me there. No. Mustang's got a little bit of an edge on me on next generation. M3 there on the left. Oh, locked up again. Barely put any brakes on at all. Oh, that Janetta and the Beamer. Kind of blows. <laughs> Run the Zinetta wide. Ow. Get out of here. There's that pink Aston I uh, ran off the road early on. No. The pink. I swear I need glasses. Still there. <laughs> oh, oh. I was concentrating so much on that ass and I missed the breaking point. The rocket bunny is struggling here. Oh, oh. Especially when I nudge him off the road. Sorry, sir. Not giving you the place back there. Back up to 50. A couple more places and it'll be the top half. Oh, again, locking up. Got time to do it. That one hard, attack that one harder. It gets it harder for now, for now. Not the sentence I was aiming for. No, too much. That's the problem when you're pushing too hard to try and gain some time. You end up making mistakes like that. That's better. 
and then I go too wide in the corner. I didn't lock up there. Bumps there. Got me again. So this the corners come on up onto you so quickly. Oh blimey, that was awful. But uh, it really is a workout. This Cyber Circuit definitely suits the GT4s far better than it ever with the GT3s. And then Jeanette Apple. Yeah, it's definitely a bump. It's just a couple of bumps there, but it's enough in the corner to send you into the barrier. How on earth do you pronounce this guy's name? Estevan Vargo. Or something like that. Not a clip. Two to go, I think. Oh no, that's not going to work. Almost better. That gold cut it in three again. Whoops, too much curb. No, damn you, damn you. Ah, oh, man. Now one small mistake can completely change what's going on. Oh, come on, Beamer. Just ram the Jeanette around the way. Excuse me, Rocket Bunny. Um, am I going to beat the flag? No. Close, but not quite. One second. That was 10 0 1. Oh, man, that was hard work. Uh, well, that was my time in the end. 46 4. That was actually the fastest lap of the race. Not by a great deal, but it was it was enough. That's it for this episode. Like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.